license registration? <laughs> what up, order? Peace out. <laughs> Have a good day. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. We have Diesel in the car. We have Lux in the car. Dad just left for work. We are running late. Late. Lux is late for school right now. Yeah, Lux is running late for school right now. Um, we woke up a little bit later. Yesterday was Halloween. It was a rough night last night. Lux. Okay, baby. He woke up in the middle of the night, y'all, and I was struggling. Um, so we're on the way to drop Lux off. I gotta get gas, drop him off at school, and then Diesel has a vet appointment. We're gonna go check on the tumor and stuff today. So I'm bringing you guys along for all the things today. Maybe this will be like a week long vlog, but I'll just bring you guys along keep you guys updated on what's happening with the fam. Can you show me your big jump again? Oh, big jump. Come on, let's go. Let's go into school, okay? Are you going to have a great day? Yes. You going to learn something new today? Yes. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bye. Alright you guys, so I am on my way to Lux's school to pick him up. I took Lux to his, um, I took Lux. I took Diesel to the vet, kind of had to take me a minute afterwards or whatever just to kind of collect my thoughts. I'm still processing. Um, sorry for the camera being shaky. I have like the phone up in this little thing i took diesel to the vet and um his tumor has gotten bigger and they pretty much just gave me a whole bunch of medication for him um i have medication for nausea and vomiting and other stuff just to um help keep him comfortable pretty much right now um I asked the doctor just to give me all the meds. I would get all the meds to make him comfortable, whatever is necessary, um, so that we can figure out which route we wanted to go. And pretty much, we're still in the same spot. Um, this doctor is pretty much sure, pretty sure that Diesel, um, the, the cancer, the growth, the tumor is on his spleen. He's not 100% sure, but he's pretty sure. And um, he offered us to do surgery, like the last doctor told us it was an option. But also we have to consider his age and because he's older, um, you know, his chances of like surviving, like his body, the stress on his body surviving a surgery like that, um, the outcome might not be the best and this doctor also said the same thing he was like you know sometimes we do it he's like I could just remove the entire spleen because his spleen really isn't useful for him right now anyway um, he was saying that um, he could remove it sometimes he does and it works sometimes he does and he regrets even doing the surgery to begin with or whatever but that's a personal choice for us to make for him um so that's just kind of where we are now um do we do the surgery and try to um do we do the surgery and try to remove the spleen and see if he can survive the surgery do we wait it out and continue waiting it out and just kind of see where things go with it he's not eating much um which from the ultrasound and the um x-ray we saw that his stomach is pretty much getting smashed so he's probably likely having like acid reflux and stuff where he's not able to you know 
keep stuff down or is not comfortable when he is. And then I asked the doctor about any pain, like if he thinks he's any pain. He doesn't have like any like acute pain where it's like you touch him in certain spots and it's very uncomfortable for him. But in general, he just might be, his body just might be sore or whatever and uncomfortable and stuff. So um, that's, that's just what we are thinking right now as far as like his pain level so I told the doctor I couldn't get in touch with Dion because of course he's at work on base the buildings are old he doesn't have any service so uh, um, when Dion I talked to him a little bit about it uh, but when he gets home I got pictures and stuff and I'll put them on the screen I'll, I guess I'll have to mark where the tumor is or whatever but the um, the doctor's is a man of course his hand is bigger than mine but the tumor is bigger than his fist so it's bigger than my fist and diesel's little boston terrier body so that's where we are that's where we are trying to figure that out and it just makes me sick to my stomach to have to think about dion was like you know should we just put him down so that he's not suffering and like dying this a uh, slow death or whatever and that threw me off guard I started stuttering and everything kind of caught me off guard when he started I was just like oh, oh wait a minute like my mind wasn't even there you know just a lot to process once I got home I had to eat something and then just kind of bring my mind down or whatever so I kind of tried to get into what I had planned today doing laundry and stuff like that but I swapped some laundry out just to try and you know do some other stuff but um mentally no um, but right now I have to go and pick up Lux because every week I go and pick him up a couple times a week from school and we go straight to speech therapy this week we start occupational therapy so um, he's doing speech today, occupational therapy tomorrow, speech on Thursday. He gets out of school at 2.30, but on Tuesdays, his uh, speech therapy session is at 2.30 until they can get it at 3. So, um, I'm picking him up now so that we can head down to his speech therapist's office and get Lux to speech and this week is just a week of appointments and busyness because tomorrow Dion also has to go to uh, a follow-up appointment to the cardiologist y'all know we've been dealing with his heart stuff um, so he's going to a follow-up appointment to the cardiologist tomorrow morning I love coming in the like living in the country right now because I love seeing like the cows and the horses everywhere I love it. I love seeing all the trees change. I, I don't know if y'all been able to see. Fall happens here and I really, really am enjoying this. I take the long way home when I drop Lux off in the morning because I love the way the morning sun casts over these fall trees. It just does something to my soul. It makes me feel so good. Um, I got sidetracked but um yeah so Dion has his follow-up appointment tomorrow for cardiology Lux has OT tomorrow and then on Thursday um I have my MRI in the morning because I'm getting my uh prolactinoma checked on and then Thursday afternoon I have to pick Lux up again take him back to speech therapy and then Friday Lux has soccer on Friday afternoon so busy 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 this is the week of appointments and hopefully we come up to some conclusion about what we need to do with diesel but I wanted to give you guys that quick update like that every day he 
wants to stop and see the deers. We have to go now, okay? Say bye bye. Creative. My creativity is endless. Say creativity. Okay. Creative. The baby. There's a baby. Yep. Mm -hmm. happy Wednesday today yesterday I don't think I came back on I don't think I came back on after we left speech therapy yesterday um, but I also didn't mention yesterday that I went to our storage to look through our bins to see what Christmas stuff was left behind our storage was robbed in September hold on let me see I'm just getting the Starbucks Can I have a bacon gouda, please? A bacon gouda? What else do we have? Can that um, apple crisp, can you have that warm? Of course. Can I have one of those hot, please? I'll take a tall. A tall? With extra drizzle, the apple drizzle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, yeah, yesterday 
I went to the storage to see what was left behind because I, I think I mentioned that our storage got robbed back in September um, and they took a lot of my Christmas stuff or whatever. They took the bins because I had some bins with like the red top, you know, the Christmas bins, you know, to mark my Christmas stuff. They took um, those. So I think I only have like two of those bins left, but I had some, there we go. I did have some extra bins that weren't and that wasn't in those um that didn't have that red top or whatever so um i have to go through my holiday stuff to see but i did get a new christmas tree because they stole my other christmas tree so i went on king of christmas and ordered me a prince flocked seven foot seven foot prince flocked tree is my card in here hold on Starbucks card <laughs> so I got my Christmas tree it's sitting in the living room it's sitting right by the front door so that thank you um it's sitting right by the front door I didn't want to put it away because I knew that I would be um putting up my tree anyway and the tree just came last week at the end of last week so I'm so excited to see it out I'm excited for Lux to come home and see it thank you do y'all have this? Thank you. Do you have Thank a napkins, so please? Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm so excited for Lux to see the um, tree and stuff up. I'm probably not going to decorate it today, but I'll probably just have it up because it is a pre-lit tree too. Um, and I can just kind of take my time decorating it another day. I am... Um, getting in the mood it kind of killed my mood a little bit yesterday um one going to the vet about my dog diesel just really made me very irritable yesterday and i was trying i went to the stores trying to like lift my mood because i'm doing something kind of like holiday related and then it kind of dampened my mood again because i remembered again that some of my stuff was stolen or whatever and I still have to look through and see what I have left over today is a, a new day and I'm going to be oh I wonder if this side is open oh yes it's open um I'm going to be positive I'm going to do all the things that make me happy to lift my spirits today the sun is bright I'll just park in this spot so I'm gonna do all the things today to lift my spirits, make me feel better because yesterday was a rough, rough day for me. Um, but today started out pretty cool. Like it started out pretty good. Today on Wednesdays, Luxley School does like a delayed start um, and Dion volunteers at the school on Wednesday, Wednesday mornings in Lux's class. He's like one of the classroom parents he comes in like helps the teacher on Wednesdays or whatever Lux you know was a little bit cranky but then I was scrolling Facebook because my mother-in-law was telling me that the school has something else going on <clears throat> besides the little fundraiser that they have going on like an extra one and I hadn't heard about it so I was scrolling Facebook because I don't get on Facebook often and so I was scrolling Facebook this morning just trying to see what she was talking about something with some donuts or something and um when i got on facebook i'm friends with another mom in the class on facebook she sent me a friend request and sent me a video of her son when the school year first started her son said that lux was his best friend and lux was his friend in the classroom and stuff it was too cute i saw his costumes and stuff you know everybody's stuff from halloween the other day started coming up because i haven't been on facebook in a while so stuff from like two three four days ago was popping up and um i he saw his friend and i said is that your friend and he's yes i said do you play with him at school he said yes 
I said, are you ready to go to school so you can see him? He said, yes. And so he got up and that's what got him out of the bed this morning because he was cranky and did not want to get out of bed originally. Um, so I love that he's making friends. I love that he loves going to school. I love that he loves his teachers. When he sees his teacher come into the car in the morning to get him out of the car, he has the biggest smile on his face. He's so excited to get out of his car seat. Like he's ready for the day. That made the morning much smoother and then i got gas this morning we took our time going to the school and um on the way from the school i take the long way home and now that it's fall i take the long way home from his school after drop off because i love that scenic view seeing those trees just change colors over the past month has been like the best thing it has like really it just it it sets the tone for my day it just really puts me in a good mood just riding those country roads in tennessee with those trees changing and seeing a lot of like cows and horses and goats and stuff a lot of it's a lot of farmland out here where we live like we're in the memphis area but we're north of memphis and we're in the country i love it i love 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 it i never thought that i would but I am enjoying this fall ride. I can't, if it snows this year, if it's ice again like it was last year, I can't wait to see that route with that snow and ice and stuff. I bet it's gonna look so pretty. But I am at Walmart now. I wanted to stop at Starbucks, grab me something to eat, grab me a drink. I'm going in Walmart to go and get me some bins because I need more bins to put my fall stuff. They stole some of our fall, fall stuff too, so I've accumulated a little bit. So I'm going to get some bins to pack some stuff away. And so that's why I'm at Walmart. I'm about to run in here while it's dead. Do I have any, where is my mask? Oh, right here. All right, you guys, so it has been a few days since I vlogged and I wanted to come up because I was editing the vlog and I wanted to come up and like, I guess tie up loose ends because I did leave some things kind of hanging. So I did mention in the vlog that Dion was going to his cardiologist appointment, but I didn't like follow up on it because originally I was supposed to go to the appointment, but then I got caught up in like packing up fall decor and like putting up trees and stuff and so he ended up going on his own and I'm glad I didn't go because I would have been late picking up Lux that day like they were so behind and it was just a mess but um overall he got a a good report but he is they are putting him on an additional medication um his cardiologist who he saw is the original one who referred him to the other one I told y'all he was going to go see a few weeks ago and that cardiologist his like main one is sending him to another cardiologist for a second opinion um which kind of worries me a little bit because the one that he called the electrician of the heart he was like you know it's fine you know it's gonna you know everything looks good or whatever your heart is just kind of um your, I, I was explaining to you guys how he explained or how Dion explained it to me where the bottom part of one part of the heart that should be beating second which is like the bottom part is trying to beat the top part of the heart to a beat or something and it's kind of throwing things off so the main cardiologist read his notes and all that stuff with Dion and he was like I'm still going to just send you to another one so we can have a, another pair of eyes looking at this or whatever so um that's where we are right now as far as like his heart stuff he has to go see another <laughs> cardiologist to I guess get like a third opinion about what that doctor thinks or whatever see if anything might have been missed or whatever so that's what we are with the cardiology stuff so it's kind of ongoing and I'll just kind of keep you guys updated on what we find out as things come along um, also I mentioned that I would be going to get an MRI done last week and I went early that morning showed up for my MRI y'all and they were like 
oh you have to pay three hundred dollars or something like that the overall is like five thousand dollars so today you have to pay three hundred but if anything else comes up or whatever we'll just bill you for it and i first of all i didn't it caught me off guard them telling me that i had to pay anything because i've had mris done before and um at like imaging centers and this time i was at a hospital um but tricare has covered it 100 percent for me and i've never had to pay a copay or anything for them for this prolactinoma and so that caught me off guard but i also if you're going to tell me i owe money i want you to be able to explain it to me or whatever but in their explanation nobody seemed sure about the girl didn't seem sure about what she was explaining to me so i was like you know what just cancel it because the last thing I want is to get caught up with this hospital of y'all and then that girl was filling in for the administration administration lady and she was supposed to be one of the people that work in like the billing <laughs> and I was just like mm, you don't seem like you know what you're talking about I was like you know what just cancel it and she was like but the late she she had already started the check-in process with you because someone else had started checking me in and she just started choking out of nowhere and then they had somebody else come in and try to finish up with me I was just like okay I'm not getting it done <laughs> I'm not doing it or whatever and she was just like oh, so you want it canceled I'm like what didn't you understand yes I want it canceled so we had this back and forth going about me wanting to like cancel the appointment completely um, because also I wanted to call TRICARE and see, like confirm for myself what was going to be covered or whatever going through this hospital. Um, and so I left there. I ended up finding some imaging centers in the area and I called them to see if one, they could, they had the proper equipment to do the scan because there's something special that has to be done with the prolactinoma scans and also verify if they accepted my insurance or whatever i found one and so i had to call the fertility clinic the fertility clinic was at the hospital that i was already at and they weren't answering the phone so i was like okay well i'm already here let me just go up to the fertility clinic it's on like the back side of this hospital let me just go up here you know ask them if they can you know just send my um the request for the MRI over to this place that I now want to go to and the girl at the front desk was just very rude and she was like what time is your appointment and I was like I don't have an appointment I you know I've been trying to call and I can't get through and she was like what do you need and I was just like hmm I read the reviews on this fertility clinic like two days before I started going there and I saw that the staff some of the front desk staff or whatever had customer service problems um and i wanted to give this place like the benefit of the doubt or whatever because i don't know if she follows me on youtube too but somebody on instagram that follows me let me know that she also like she's had success twice through this fertility clinic so that was good you know because it's somebody that i'm you know message back and forth with that follows me or whatever on instagram who lives in the area and knows what i'm talking about but uh, that just kind of brought me the wrong way and she was like you need to call your nurse for your doctor and I was just like well I don't I don't know the nurse's extension I was just hoping that I could just you know tell you and you pass the message along and she was like you gotta call her and this is her extension and I was just like you know what let me let me go <laughs> because I was so frustrated so I went to the parking lot and I called and I left a voicemail for the nurse I left a voicemail asking for my MRI request or whatever um, to be sent to this place. I left the phone number and I left the fax number. And then I also asked for a call back because I I had my first appointment with him when I told y'all I had all those labs and stuff done. That was like October 20th or something. Today is like the 6th, the 6th of November and I still don't know what came of those labs. And that is strange to me. I'm used to like the labs coming back and then they're up on the patient portal for me to see or the nurse of the doctor that took the lab or requested the labs calls me back like the day or the next day after they've come back and given me a rundown of what my labs were or whatever. 
and um, what was normal and explaining them to me. And so they didn't and they haven't called me and I've called twice actually to get my labs and nothing. And that part is frustrating for me. The first time I called, they were like, oh, our patient portal system is new to us. We got it back in May. So we've been having to figure it out. And it's like, that's not my problem. <laughs> I wanna know what my labs are. The nurse hasn't called me back and she still hasn't called me back. So that's frustrating. Today was is supposed to be cycle day one for me. I, I have like, I had like some cramps and stuff yesterday. I haven't had anything and I'm waiting on cycle day one so that I can call them to schedule my ultrasound of my ovaries and stuff for cycle day three and so my plan right now is just to go when I go on cycle day three and then somebody has to like that's go, that's going to be the end for me <laughs> somebody needs to tell me what these labs are because one I want to know what my prolactin levels were I want to know what my thyroid levels are um and i want to know what my a1c is that the glucose one i want to know what that is so yes i am ready to get things going figure out what's what's going on with my labs um so as far as the mri stuff i i called so i went off on a tangent the nurse never called me back she had someone else from the office call me back and this she apparently relayed half the message to this person that she told to call me back because this girl didn't have a clue what was going on and I was like yeah I just left a message I left the phone number and the fax number where I wanted my MRI request to be sent to I found another image in place and she was like we already sent it off to Baptist Women's which is the hospital and I was just like I know I went there they don't know what they're doing down there and I refuse to get it done because I don't want any billing issues later I don't want no crazy bills later because somebody else messed up somewhere now I got to fight and I've been through that and I know people who have been through that I ain't trying to do it I was like I found another place they accept my insurance all I need you to do is just fax over that I need this MRI done at this place so they know what I need done and um i was like you know i'm gonna i already verified that they accept my insurance or whatever do you want to submit it to my insurance and she was like oh no you can call tricare i was like that's fine i gave her the phone number and fax number again and still no call back <laughs> no she didn't know anything about my labs um and so i called tricare had them you know i gave them the address and the name of the new imaging center that I wanted to go to. They looked it up, transferred my uh, referral approval to them and back, you know, told me that they would fax it over. They fax referral approvals over every hour on the hour. And um, that place had already called me and was like, hey, we got your request from your doctor. You know, we want to get you scheduled. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm still working on the referral transfer part from TRICARE before I go, you know, just come in and do it or whatever. Um, and so tomorrow is Monday. I'm waiting till tomorrow to call them back. I told them I'll call them back on Monday so that we can schedule when I could get that MRI done because I had already spoken to them so they knew what I needed. They knew what was going to be coming um, on my behalf. So that's where I am. That's what happened last week. Um, I just kind of wanted to tie that all up. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but we ended up going out for Dion's birthday. Dion's birthday is Tuesday, voting day, November 8th. Um, and we went out to main event with his coworkers and stuff. And we went bowling and we let Lux play some games and all that stuff. So that was fun. I'll try to put some clips in for you guys to see.
Thank you for sharing. Yeah, overall though, uh, this week was a busy week. Next week is also gonna be another busy week because I have speech, occupational therapy, speech with Lux, soccer on Fridays with Lux. Um, so my weeks are like busy kind of running around with him so like on days like today i went to like costco i did my target pickup order and i do all of my prep for the week things on sundays so that we can get ready for the week um dinner tonight i made zupa toscana soup and i got some fresh bread from the bakery and toasted it so it can be nice and crunchy to go with our soup um, once i'm done with this video i'm going to prep lux's outfits for the week i put them in little baskets for him each day of the week um i prep all his socks underwear t-shirts all that stuff gets put in there so in the mornings it's smooth to go for us but yeah dinner's done i'm about to work on those clothes run some loads a couple loads of laundry just to get laundry um down some but yeah but yeah that is um it you guys that is it to our crazy week i wanted to tie that up but if you've watched this far i appreciate you guys for following along on the vlog i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye